guys, before we start our part two um, of our water pitcher arrangement, part one was a vase style and part two is going to be floral foam style. Before we start the video though, I do want to go over floral foam to make sure that you get the correct floral foam. Real flowers in your floral foam arrangement, you want to make sure that you get wet foam. And the difference between wet foam is it's very easy to just kind of lightly put pressure and it creates a dent in it. It's darker, it absorbs water, and this is what you want for real flowers. This had silks and naturals on it. No, <laughs> silks only. It's super hard. It's, I mean, you can't even, if I was to really apply pressure for this, it's barely even doing anything. So this is for silk flowers only, and that's because when you put the silk flowers in there, you want them to stay. You're not worried about them having water. This, on the other hand, is a lot more um, fragile because when you put water into it, it becomes stronger and it absorbs the water and becomes a sponge. And this is what is providing your flowers with water. So you wanna make sure that you get the correct floral foam. Okay, so the first step with our floral foam arrangement is to measure our floral foam cut. And I just take and place the dry floral foam on top of the container and push down and that's how I get my cut. I'll use the other half of the block to kind of boost my floral foam up and have it stick about an inch and a half to two inches out of the container. After getting the shape of your floral foam, Go ahead and soak it in water and put water into your container. The floral foam's not soaked all the way through, but that's okay. I have water in the container and it will soak the water up there. What I'm doing here is creating a platform for the large piece of floral foam that I earlier shaped. This isn't high enough, so I'm going to need to put another small piece of floral foam at the bottom to lift it up just a little more. Now that I'm happy with my floral foam height, I want to make sure that it's going to stay in place. So that little hole right there, I'm going to cut down a piece of floral foam and I'm going to shove it into there. I'm not using floral tape, it's just another thing to buy. It's a, like floral foam tape. Um, if you don't feel like it's going to stay in place, you can buy this tape. Again, I just kind of wedge my floral foam pieces around and hold my floral foam into place. That way I don't have to worry about the tape getting in my way. So now that we have our floral foam firmly in place, we are going to start with our greens like we did on our vase arrangement. For this arrangement, just make sure you place your greens kind of around, forming a shape, and do your greens high and low. And if you watched my prior video, you should understand what high and low means. And you want some ins and outs as well with your greens. We don't have to worry about putting too many greens into this arrangement because it is not having to hold the flowers in place like it does in a, um, a vase arrangement. But instead the floral foam is holding our flowers in place. So we're just going to just kind of create like a little circle around our floral foam. The green arrow is an example of a high and the red arrow is an example of a low. The black arrow is an example of an out and the yellow arrow is an example of an in. So like with a vase arrangement, we are going to start with our big flower first. The big flower that I have for this floral foam arrangement is pink roses. And with roses, they come with packing petals and all that means is just the outside petals are bruised because Roses are a little more sensitive and they bruise easily. So I just pick off the packing petals, which is about four petals usually. And then my rose is looking pretty and unbruised again. Again, I apologize. I'm learning to video myself. Please bear with me as I learn. So similar to our face arrangement that we did prior in the week, we are going to start with our highest point first. And that is where I have my rose placed. I do want to point out that I could have used my white daisies in place of my rose, but like I said in the prior video, I bought two bundles of the 3 for 12 deal from Publix. Measuring your cuts for a floral foam arrangement is a little different from measuring your cuts for a vase arrangement. 
You're not wanting your flowers to go all the way down to the bottom of your container, being that the floral foam is what holds the water and provides water for your flowers. You want your flowers to stick about an inch to an inch and a half into your floral foam. So instead of measuring the stem to be as long as the container like you would do in a vase arrangement, you're only measuring to go into the floral foam about an inch to an inch and a half. That being said, I am just making sure to put different highs and lows of these pink roses all throughout my arrangement, kind of creating a shape for myself. After placing my roses, I'm going to begin to place my scrap pieces from my prior arrangement, and that is my yellow button daisies. And I'm just going to evenly spread throughout the yellow color, and I'm going to create highs and lows and ins and outs with these yellow button daisies. Ins and outs and highs and lows are a lot easier with floral foam, being that when you place something, it stays that way, and you don't have to worry about when you place another flower, it pushing the stem of that flower down. So I will say to learn your ins and outs and your highs and lows, starting and beginning with floral foam um, can definitely help you. Also doing different highs and lows is stopping you from creating a ball or a bush. So like before, once I have all of my yellow spread through evenly throughout, that doesn't mean that I'm not going to add any more. I just feel like I have it evenly spread. So I'm going to take a break from my yellow button daisies, and I'm going to start to add in my green carnations, my green mini carns that I have as well. And I have the scraps and a few long stems left over from the prior arrangement. Here I'm going to add just a few more greenery pieces through the bottom of my arrangement just because I seem to have a really large hole of floral foam right there that I just don't want you to be able to see. So I'm doing the same thing with my mini carns that I did with my yellow button daisies and that is evenly spreading them throughout my arrangement, creating different highs and lows throughout my arrangement and just bringing the colors up and down. We're also creating ins and outs. Remember our ins and outs are going to stop us from creating or forming a ball shape arrangement. So I'm going to break this color up a little bit and I'm going to go ahead and add some white daisies in. I'm not going to add too many of my white daisies because the heads on them are quite large and I don't want to take away from my other flowers too much. So I'm just going to kind of use the smaller daisies that haven't fully bloomed open yet and they're kind of a half bloom more so. And I'm just going to fill in the empty spots and kind of hide my floral foam along with creating highs and lows and ins and outs with your daisies as well. quickly I'm going to point out a few things that I'm going to change. So I'm going to change that one to be an in and then see how I have it in and out and then I have those two large daisies next to each other. So I'm going to push one further in and pull one out. So that way they're not right next to each other and then I'm going to kind of bring a button daisy up underneath and bring out the flowers a little more. So another key advice I can give you for floral foam arrangements. Be sure to pick your arrangement up and look at, at it at eye level or bend down and look at it as if you were sitting down. 
If you can still see green floral foam, then you need to either add more greenery or more flowers or maybe kind of push and readjust some of your flowers. Um, I cannot remember the name of it for the life of me, but whatever this is, it's my filler. And it has a little more pinkish purple tint to it. So I am just going to add a different texture all throughout my arrangement and just fill in different places and bring it high and low. And what else? In and out. What? All right. Again, I just want to point out here to pick up your arrangement. Sorry you guys can't see this, um, but pick up your arrangement and see if you can see a few more floral foam pieces like that right there. And either we need to put another piece of greenery there, which is what I'm going to do, or maybe a big daisy, um, something to just fill that spot in and take care of it for us. The two arrows are pointing to two areas that if I had more pink roses, I would put there. The red arrows here are also showing where I would put my pink roses if I was to have more, but the green arrows are pointing to areas that I later left out. After seeing this video, I realized I needed to go back. Okay guys, so now it's your turn to do it yourself. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you find these DIY projects as easy as I have and you enjoy them just as much. If you do want to see more videos like this, be sure to give this one a thumbs up to let me know and be sure to subscribe for future DIY projects as well.